Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you the Mouth of Truth and the church that it is inside. So, the Mouth of Truth, or the Bocca della Verità, is a marble mask in Rome, which stands against the left wall of the portico of the Santa Maria in Cosmedine Church. According to the enduring medieval legend, it will bite the hand off of any liar who places their hand in its mouth, or anyone who utters a lie while the hand is in the mouth. This massive marble mask weighs about 2,800 pounds or 1,300 kilograms and probably depicts the face of the sea titan god Oceanus. And historians aren't quite certain what the original purpose of the disc was. It was probably used as a drain cover in the nearby temple of Hercules Victor, which had an oculus, a round open space in the middle of the roof, similar to that of the Pantheon, hence it could rain inside. It's also thought that the cattle merchants used it to drain the blood of cattle sacrificed to the god Hercules. In the 13th century, the disc was probably removed from the temple and placed against the wall of Santa Maria in Cosmedine. In the 17th century, it eventually moved to its current location inside the portico of the church. The Mouth of Truth is now known mostly from its appearance in the 1953 film Roman Holiday. The Mouth of Truth. The legend is that if you're given to lying, you put your hand in there, it'll be bitten off. Oh, the hard idea. Let's see you do it. I've never been to see the Mouth of Truth before because usually there is such a long line to see it and I never thought it was worth it. But on this day, there was no line at all. So let's go inside the church now. The Basilica of St. Mary in Cosmedine. The church was probably founded in the 6th century during the Byzantine rule of the city and was placed into the center of the Greek community in Rome. The church was dedicated to the Virgin Mary, and the name Cosmedine came from the Latinization of the Greek word meaning ornament or decoration. The church was built in the 8th century during the Byzantine papacy, and I don't speak Greek so forgive me if my pronunciation is a little off, but in the 7th century this church was called De Scola Graica and a close street is still called Della Greca. Greek monks escaping persecutions decorated the church around 782, and because of its beauty, the church received the adjective cosmedine from the Greek meaning ornate. The church's bell tower is the tallest medieval one in Rome, and the current interior has a nave with two aisles. These are divided by four pilasters and 18 ancient columns. Other fragments of the ancient buildings can be seen in the crypt, which I think you have to pay to enter. Paintings from the 8th and 12th centuries in three layers are preserved in the upper part of the nave and in the triumphal arch. The church is a very fine cosmetesque pavement, and the Scola Cantorum, or the trained papal choir, is from the 13th century, while the main altar is a red granite piece from 1123. There are some more interesting facts about this church, but that's all I'm going to include in today's video. Thank you for watching. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. Have you been to Rome, and did you put your hand in the mouth of truth? Let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao tutti!